Hey guys, it's Caroline. So I know it's been a long time, but I was on vacation and then I was on another kind of vacation thing before that and then I was taking a class and also driver's ed and also I was working and <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I've just been really busy. But today I'm going to be doing a video about like kind of like surviving your freshman year and that kind of thing. And I was a freshman last year, so I'm going to be a sophomore this year. So I think I can give you some tips on getting through your freshman year of high school if you're going to be a freshman this year or if you're going to be a freshman in two years I don't know maybe like like this video or favorite it and come back to it or something like that but it's just kind of useful and I mean I watch videos about people like college tips and I'm not gonna be in college so maybe you'll find this interesting even if you're not going to be a freshman this year but so I have my list of things that I want to mention so if I'm kind of looking down that is what I'm looking at so number one, just because a lot of people don't know this and you need to know this when you go into high school, the order is freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. After your senior year, you go to college. That is just something that a lot of people don't know and you really should know it. And I mean, I'm, it's, I'm not like making fun of you because I didn't know it either, but um, well, I mean, I knew it like before I went to high school, but I didn't know it like before we started talking about high, I don't <laughs> I don't know, if you didn't know the order, that's what the order is, and you should remember that. Second thing is, like, really just be excited. Like, it is not that scary. Honestly, my freshman year was so awesome. I loved it. But, um, a lot of people don't like their freshman year. I love my freshman year, so just, just be excited, because it's awesome. And high school is so much better than middle school or junior high or whatever you called it. Like, my junior high was, like... I felt like I was just trapped in a box and I like we were still being treated like babies and I really 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 didn't like it and getting to high school was so 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 awesome. So yeah, just be excited. So, also um like they sometimes people do like it's not hazing but like everyone makes fun of the freshmen and like laughs and like everyone it's just like like everyone does it and once you're not a freshman anymore you can do it too so you kind of just have to deal with it but it's not like people are actually like like bullying you it's just kind of like like I don't know how to explain it like it's not like like you're not actually it doesn't matter what you do people are still gonna make fun of the freshmen and so like even if you have a lot of friends that are upperclassmen which I do and I, I did but I still do but yeah um, even if you do then like they'll still make fun of you for being a freshman and it's really not that big of a deal like nothing actually happens it, just how things work so don't be nervous that people are gonna like make fun of you for being a freshman because it's it's more that people just make fun of the entire group they're not gonna single you out and like hate you because you're a freshman um but yeah like I said I was friends with a lot of upperclassmen whoops that was my phone sorry um like all my friends pretty much are upperclassmen so like you can still be friends with people that aren't in your grade and that's one thing that's really nice is it doesn't matter what grade you're in, you can just be friends with like everyone. Like I have friends in all grades. Um, and I have friends that are going to be freshmen this year too because like it just it's just so much easier too because you can have classes with people that aren't in the same grade as you where like in junior high if you are in eighth grade all your friends are in eighth grade because you have all your classes with eighth graders and you have lunch with the eighth graders. But in high school, you can have classes with seniors and sophomores and then have lunch with juniors. And so, like, everything's just mixed and it's so much easier to just be friends with a lot more people. Like, I met so many people this year and it's really, really awesome. And, um, oh, I just forgot what I was going to say. Okay. Um, get help if you're struggling. There's so many resources and you need to use your resources. There's so many resources. There's like the Media Center, which is like great and like like so nice and you can get tutors um, and it's not something to be embarrassed about if you need a tutor because like normally it's just a high school, like a kid that's like a senior or something that will help you um, with your classes like in a study hall or something and go see your teachers. At my school, we from 7.15 to 7.55, the school is like like open but like school starts at 7 55 but at 7 15 all the teachers are there and you can go in and get help and everyone does it so like really 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 use your resources because it can be overwhelming it was really overwhelming for me to start my freshman year because 
in eighth grade and in all of junior high, I didn't really have to like work that hard to get good grades. I'm not trying to like brag or anything, but like it just it wasn't that hard because the work wasn't hard and because everyone is in the same class, if there's people that like are different like are at like different levels and since you're all in the same class, the teacher has to help the person who's at like the lowest level do you know what I mean not like the stupidest but I like I don't really know how to explain it but so they have to like bring their standards down instead of bringing their standards up for you and so being in high school the classes are divided up a lot more by what level you're really at so it's a lot easier and you're in well not easier but like it's a lot easier to like reach your full potential because you're in a class that's like for you better than in junior high where it's just like <clears throat> in junior high it's just language arts and in high school there's like a bunch of different English classes so you can like be like you can achieve more I guess um, but yeah so <laughs> next is learn how to study because that it just like <laughs> just learn how to study I'm really really bad at studying and it's really hard and it makes the tests really hard because I mean they're obviously hard anyway but um in junior high like you can ask a teacher for help at least for me like I could you can like raise your hand on a test and ask a teacher for help and they'll help you find the answer on a test and in high school no they will not do that and in junior high they might give you extra time to finish a test in high school most teachers will not give you extra time if you don't finish your test some will, but most of the time they won't. Like once the class is over or once the period of time that you had to take the test is over, you have to turn it in no matter if you're how much you have done. Yeah. Um, uh, stay focused and push yourself to reach your full potential because that is what high school is for, is learning and reaching your potential. So you really want to make sure you do that and stay focused on your schoolwork. Obviously, you can still have fun. I mean, you're a teenager. Obviously, you're going to have fun. But you really do need to stay focused. And it's hard at the end of the year when you're just ready for summer, especially studying for finals because summer is, like, there and all you have to do is take these tests but they're hard and you have to study so hard for these tests but just make sure you stay focused and don't like procrastinate and get sidetracked because it can be really hard if you do that um be involved join clubs and stuff like that that you're interested in i joined a lot of kind of like acting singing performing kind of clubs because and stuff like that like not necessarily clubs because that is what i'm really interested in and that's what i like to do and also take classes like that like take classes based i mean you have to take like math and like stuff like that but in like in at least in my school in our sciences credit you have to take two labs and then after labs like you can choose from all kinds of different classes like anatomy and stuff like that so you can really choose based on like what you want to do and what you want to become and achieve but um also just join lots of clubs like I'm in show choir I did the musical all kinds of stuff like that and it's really 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 fun and we have so many clubs at my school so just make sure you get involved in what you like because there's clubs for everything um make friends like just like it's really easy to make new friends because like I said you have classes with all kinds of different people and like like you yeah like one of my my French class last year I had um classmates people in my people in my class that were literally in every grade there was freshmen sophomore junior seniors in one class and so it's really easy to make friends because obviously you're talking and interacting with the people that are in your class and um, just especially if your school is one where like a lot of schools come together to one high school mine isn't like that so like I knew pretty much every single person in my class there was probably like three new people that joined my class for our freshman year and I mean probably like I, more people will join like that'll move and stuff but like we don't have one of those schools where there's like five different schools coming together to make um, one high school I don't have like a thousand people at my high school like some do so but if you do have one like that just make sure you really like introduce yourself because you're not gonna know 
like barely anyone because if there's five schools and you only know people from one like that's going to be really hard and it wasn't as hard for me because like I said I knew my whole class but just make sure that you introduce yourself and get to know people and make a good first impression and just don't be so quick to like judge people and like like no I'm not going to be their friend like just make sure you're really welcoming and stuff like that um make sure you eat breakfast because otherwise it's going to be a really long hard day um I get so hungry in the morning, so I always have breakfast, but if you don't have breakfast, at least if you don't have breakfast, bring a breakfast. If you don't have breakfast, make sure you at least bring a snack to eat, like, between blocks or periods, whatever you have, um, just, um, so that you're not hungry because, like, all you have is lunch. There's no, like, snack time where you can have snacks, but we can, like, honestly, some teachers will let you eat in their class, but you have to make sure you ask, because, like, my biology teacher would not let you eat in her class, but it was a lab, so you really couldn't eat in it, but you know what I mean? But then, like, my English teacher would let you eat in her class if you wanted to, so you need to find out about that, but also just eat breakfast, and if you don't eat breakfast, bring a snack to eat between classes. Um, make sure you stay organized and use a planner because they're so helpful. I, like, I would not remember any of my homework if I didn't use a planner. And you can buy a planner. Um, a lot of the times schools will give you a planner. Um, and the planner that our school gives us is actually really nice. So I actually ended up using that in the end of the year, but I bought one in the beginning of the year. So do whatever you want. If you feel like you need like kind of a certain kind of planner, you should buy one. But otherwise, you can just get the one from the school because it's probably going to be pretty good. But um, make sure you write down your homework. And you can also write down other stuff in there too, which is nice. You can write down all your like extracurriculars. And like if you have a soccer game a certain day, if you have the play, play rehearsal, all kinds of stuff like that. You can write down, like, I don't know, like, holidays or in-service days where you don't have school. And it's it's so, so, so helpful. And But just when you write down your homework, just make sure that you write down, like, specific instructions. You can take up a lot of space in your planner because all you're writing in is homework. It's not like, it's not like you're going to need space for something else. I mean, you're going to need space for your other homework, but you know what I mean. So, um... Like, write down specific instructions so you're not, like, texting people at, like, 9 o'clock at night when everyone already did their homework. Well, I mean, not everyone has done their homework at 9 o'clock at night, but you know what I mean. Like, texting people late at night and asking them, like, what was the homework? Because that's really annoying for the people that you're texting because, like, they have maybe have already done it or, like, something or they're busy or anything. And then they have to, like, stop what they're doing and tell you, especially if there's, like, specific page numbers and they have to go back and check. And it's really annoying for you because you have to wait for them to respond. And it's just so much easier if you write it down in your planner. Uh, be yourself because in high school, everyone is, like figuring out who they are and like like everyone is doing everyone is doing that and so like wear what you want to wear do what you want to do like don't like don't hold back because you're afraid of what other people are going to think because if they're your real friends then they're really not going to care what you're doing anyway I mean obviously unless you're doing something bad but you know what I mean like if they're your real friends they're not going to care like what clubs you're in or what you're wearing and if they're not your friends then you're only going to have to see them in like your school and once school is done you're never going to have to see them again so just remember that and the last one, this is kind of a weird one to, it's kind of a weird, like, note to end on, but a good idea. This is kind of just for, like, high school in general, not really just for, like, freshman year, but, uh, carpool. Carpooling is a good way to save money, like, gas money, and it's just really easy because, um, you have a bunch of other rides that you could possibly get, like, if one person can't drive, because, like, being freshman, you can't drive, and if you can drive, like, if you're old enough to drive, then you can't drive other people, probably, because you still have to go through, like, the certain time period where you're not allowed to drive anyone once you've gotten your license, but my freshman year, I couldn't drive at all, I just took driver's ed, and, um, none of my friends could drive, so, well, none of my, like, friends that are freshmen that live in my neighborhood could drive so I carpooled with three other people and it was I mean like there was actually it was actually really annoying so you need to make sure you have a schedule but if you have a schedule on who's driving when then it's so nice because like if your parents are working like on certain days like one of my friends moms works Monday Wednesday Friday 
And so she can't drive on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, obviously, but she can drive on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So that's really nice. And then if somebody else's parents can drive on Wednesday and Friday and somebody else's parents can drive on Monday, then it's just really nice. And you can divide up who drives in the morning and afternoon or you could just keep it the same. But it's just really nice to carpool because you know that you're always going to have someone to drive you to school if you if you don't have like a bus or if you don't walk or something. But um, backpacks are really heavy. And I know a lot of people do walk, but like, <laughs> they're so heavy which is why we drove but um yeah that is my freshman tips survival guide type of video and I know this is kind of long but um I hope you like this video if you guys are past being freshmen I guess then leave any other tips in the comment section below and that would be really nice and then we can have like a whole like like party where like everyone is getting tips and it would just be really nice so um Anyway, yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys later, but um, leave all your tips in the comment section below, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye!